be a little easier, I guess, when the carpet uh, gets put down. Here are those little clips that I was telling you about last time. Um, I'm going to use it here on this section, on the bottom portion um, of the headliner on the back window. Um, now, normally from the factory, you know, they usually had, uh, it was a whole one piece of the headliner was back there. Um, but some of these kits, like I state, they don't come with the big square section, so you have to um, make do with what you have. And they usually give you this bottom portion to glue under the back window. And same thing here. Basically, it goes diagonal from the corner down to the corner uh, where the firewall would be, kind of. And you would also tuck that as well in those corners. So basically line it up on both sides and uh, start your spray glue. Another good thing about that felt material is that the, you know, the headliner adheres to it very nicely. And it also is a great deadener. Just massage it along. And don't worry about the excess hanging over the firewall there. We're going to cut that later. <clears throat> Try not to use too much spray glue over in areas that's going to be showing, so just be careful of that. You want to tuck here and then glue it down. So it looks kind of like a, you know, sewn piece per se okay now with your blade again you just start tucking it into the behind the firewall again the carpet is going to come up and tuck into there as well but uh Instead of it bunching up, we're just going to cut off some of the excess headliner. Make sure your blades are sharp. You can tell right here that this blade doesn't look too sharp for me. Let's cut off that excess. And you're going to do the same what we did at the top portion of the window. You're going to do with the bottom portion, and that's just uh, glue that to the lip area. Just keep massaging it around like I've showed before and get yourself a nice sharp knife this time and cut the excess off. Alright. And again, if anybody has any questions along while watching this video, um, you can email me, chris at classicvwbugs.com or visit my website, classicvwbugs.com. But this is the way the headliner looks so far and um, I think she looks pretty nice. Looks nice and posh. Looks uniform. Now again, you know, SoFine makes great materials to do this headliner stuff. Wolfsburg West has their own headliner stuff. Um, West Coast Classic Restorations is out in California, and they um, they're a little more expensive, and supposedly they are more period correct. The material they use is more of a wool material. I guess that was more original as opposed to mohair. Um, and I'm just trimming the section over here so it'll be easier for the strips to get tucked into the top pillar section. Now this is a funny section um, that I'm going to show you that the kit comes with and how it's built. Um, but for now, uh, the next port we're going to get to is the actual square section that goes around the opening of the window. Um, no more gluing pretty much at this point. Um, what we're going to do now is the strips that come in for the square section. The one strip is going to get tucked behind the top pillar that I'm pointing to here. And then the other strip is going to go into the top grippers.
make sure that strip is folded uh, towards you and you want it to get tucked in there so it can hook into the pillar. Just work your way around and get that blade and start stuffing it down there. And you'll pretty much hear it snap in there and um, later on after you tuck it in there you can start tugging on the, the headliner to make sure it's, it's in there for good. If you start tugging it, it won't come out. So you'll see that you know the excess material that I let go behind the pillar is starting to bunch up a bit. That's why it's it's better to glue instead of just flopping it back there. So you pull it nice and tight. Now, like I stated earlier, you got to open those grippers up on the top portion of the opening, and you're just going to pull that strip upward and start putting it into the grippers. Now again, that strip should fit perfectly into those teeth. It's basically just the right size to go into those teeth. Just keep working it. Sometimes they pop out, but just keep keep going along. And you want it nice and flat like this. So this part here is up. So we're going to keep working that down. It'll actually snap in. There's another tiny lip over there where the front part of that strip can snap into. And once you got it all around the square opening, I like to do one side first and then do the middle section. Now the middle section is a little funny sometimes too, but um, stuff that strip down in there and make sure it hooks. Okay, see the way the strip is facing you and then you tuck it into the pillar so it hooks into the the metal and then get your blade and start stuffing it in there now don't don't worry about the corners just yet I'm gonna show you a little something uh, here in a, in a second but I'll go to the other side of the car and just start stuffing it in and just work your way all the way around the opening basically and tuck it in now basically with a rubber mallet and again with plastic just start hammering the grippers up these are a little tougher to hammer up they're not they're a little bit str uh, they're more uh, they have more strength behind them uh, to be bent upward so just take your time and go all the way down the line so like I'm showing here this part's up and then this part has to part closest here to the camera is not up yet but the front part is now you want it to go high enough so the rollers off of the rag won't interfere with it but not too high where you can possibly tear the, the headliner just keep working it all the way around sometimes you know it's the, the strip will pop out or you know it, it gets a little messy but just take your time and go slow if you see any problems just you know start again and and make sure the strip is lined up evenly you see here you want the strip to be at the cur not right you want it to be at the very end of the grippers all the way down to the back this part will actually stretch a little bit further out which is okay because that's going to be covered later on from the back portion but the front part of the strip should be even with the gripper over here you don't want it to be too far in now this part here you can either cut this or you can do another tuck Sometimes you got to cut the corners here a little bit so the, you get rid of a, a little bit of a dimple that shows later on. But you could actually, if you could, just curl it upward and, and tuck it. But uh, I'm going to basically cut this with a 
like my exacto just to cut it just enough and then then curl it or stuff it in there with my blade as you can see here and that's pretty much it for that now this part is what's really funny I don't know why these kits come with these strips in the corners they want you to stuff them in there but there's nothing to stuff to it basically hits a wall and I never understood why they would come with the strips it just if you were to keep it that way you would have a bunched up corner here and that doesn't make any sense to me so I don't know why they do that so what I basically do is I just cut that strip off I just cut it along the threads at first and just take that strip off then of course you know with just some spray glue and adhesive just pull it tight and glue it the excess will cut off later with uh, our um, our knife sometimes you can put padding on this section too if you want but I don't normally do it Let's pull it nice and tight much better than the strips I don't I, again I don't know why they put the strips on there it just I don't know if there were certain years that actually had a, a space in there but just put it you can know, use your your knife here to get it nice and tight and then basically with an, a new razor just cut it off go careful you don't want to cut too far in because then again you don't you don't want to show any rips in the actual headliner just go slow this is an area where you really need a sharp knife if you don't have a sharp knife you can pull it and it'll tear and then you got an imperfection so then just get your blade again and then tighten up the rest if you have a little bit of excess you can pretty much stuff it in there and there you go and there is our headliner thus far we just got the back section and the rag material now to do we're ready to rock and roll